Hypertension, that is high blood pressure, is a silent killer and it is something we should take into consideration and treat on our YouTube channel. Good day everyone and welcome back to Nurses Lecture Room YouTube channel. My name is Miss Mary, popularly known as the Nurse with the Difference and I make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers. Today, we are going to be talking about the various causes of hypertension. Remember I said hypertension is a silent killer. Most people, they don't know they have hypertension until they go for their normal routine checkup. So that is why I am here today. I'm going to be enlightening you on the various causes of hypertension so you avoid them. But before we go into details in today's class, if you are new on our YouTube channel, please click on that subscribe button. Turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out. For all my returning subscribers, this is not Smith Simiri saying thank you. All right, welcome back. Like I earlier said, today we are going to be discussing about the various causes of high blood pressure so you can take this into consideration and manage it effectively well so the first one i have to share with you in regards to the cause of high blood pressure is age yes aging is inevitable i am going to age my husband is going to age my mom is going to age our parents are going to age so age is one of the cause of high blood pressure because as one ages as one increases in age the arteries become stiffer and we all know the arteries is where blood flow through the arteries become stiffer and because of that stiffer artery that increases the blood pressure it's some research has shown that at the age of 40 about 35 percent of the population have high blood pressure and at the age of 60 about 71 percent of this population have high blood pressure you can see aging is one thing we should be conscious of because as our parents are aging it's advisable you help educate them on the benefits of doing a routine checkup of checking their blood pressure because most times like i earlier said blood pressure does not usually portray itself does not come with a, a with severe signs and symptoms thereby making it a silent killer then the second cause of high blood pressure I would like to share with you is family history and genetic. If there's a family history of blood pressure, you have a mother, you have a father, you have a grandmother, you have a sibling that is down with high blood pressure that is hypertensive, it is something you should be watchful of. It is something that should remind you as an individual to always do a routine checkup because high blood pressure have a history, have a family history and has a genetic predisposition. So if you as an individual has a family that has it you are at high risk of going down with high blood pressure the third one i have to share with you the third cause is alcohol we all know that excessive drinking is not good for the body it's not good for the heart it's not good for the liver it's not good for the various organs in the body so a alcohol alcoholics drunkards are the higher risk of going down with high blood pressure so if you are taking a lot of alcohol i would advise you limit your alcohol and if possible stop the intake of alcohol then the fourth point i have to share with you that causes high blood pressure is smoking we all know that smoking is not good for our organs smoking is not good generally for the body so if you can limit the smoking if you can stop the smoking because smoking is not good for your heart it's not good when it comes to the blood pressure it can increase the blood pressure then the fifth cause of high blood pressure i have to share with you is being overweight being overweight actually forces your heart to do more job actually forces your heart to do a lot of activities thereby increasing the blood pressure so being overweight is one of the cause of high blood pressure if you are overweight if you are obese i would advise that you do some exercise and see how you can work on that to help reduce the weight and indirectly help to reduce your chances of going down with high blood pressure or hypertension then the sixth point i have to share with you is lack of exercise lack of physical ab activities so if you are always static you are always in a particular position you are not exercising you are not walking you are not running that can increase your chances of going down with high blood pressure so i advise if you know you are just sitting down in one place you are not exercising i would advise you start some physical activities you exercise as much as you can because it is very very important when it comes to hypertension and high blood pressure then the other point i have to share with you is 
increase in sodium increase in sodium you may want to ask how do i get this sodium this sodium can be gotten from salt you know salt is sodium chloride so excessive salt intake can increase your chances of going down with high blood pressure that is why it is advised for those that are even hypertensive after cooking you don't just start adding salt to your food it's not going to be helpful and it's not going to be ideal for you and also packaged food canned food all these chips all these things have a uh, have high sodium in them so if you are continuously taking this it increases your sodium level in your body and also increases your blood pressure then the other point i have to share with you that increases your chances of getting high blood pressure is stress the there's a danger of stress cannot be overemphasized. We all know that stress is happens in our everyday life. It happens in our everyday life, but we can try as with we can try as much as possible to manage it by not focusing on the negative energy, by not focusing on the negative side of things, by always seeing the positive side of things. And no matter how worst or bad it is, we should just have this mindset that oh, this situation is going to pass through. This situation is going. We are going to pass through it. We are going to scale through. Just having a positive mindset can help you out in reducing the stress and also managing the stress effectively because stress is what i know cannot be totally ruled out from a man's life from a woman's life from a human being's life so stress is one of the cause of high blood pressure then the ninth point i have to share with you is medical conditions medical condition it may be a history of a particular medical condition in the lineage in the genetics in the family history that can increase your chances of going down with um with high blood pressure for example those that are diabetic they are more likely to go down with high blood pressure than those that are non-diabetic so take note of that and also keep everything in balance keep everything in check then the tenth point i have to share with you is medications there are some medications you take that increase your blood pressure that is why i advise as a man as a woman as a child is advisable you get the side effects of the various medications you are taking before you start taking it you have to weigh the advantage and also the disadvantage of the medication and see if it's higher before you take those medications so there are some certain medications there are some certain heart medications that actually increase a person's blood pressure so these are the 10 causes of high blood pressure i want to share with you today and i hope it is beneficial so for the ones you can manage try as much as possible to manage it in terms of hypertension like Elia said it is a silent killer most people they don't know that they have hypertension so they go for their normal routine checkup so it is advisable you do a routine checkup check your blood sugar level check your blood pressure do this checkup and know how you are feeling know how well you are so you'll be able to start proper treatment as soon as possible if the doctor tells you you are hypertensive or diabetic Generally, it is advisable you see the doctor and the doctor tells you nothing is wrong. Now, for you to assume nothing is wrong and something is wrong. This is just my slogan and my general advice to my subscribers. Make sure your health is your priority. Thank you very much for staying tuned. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. And also, don't forget to share with a friend if you got value. For all my returning subscribers, this is Nosmex Mary saying thank you. Bye and see you in our next video.